We just feel this is a nice, a nice mixed vegetable accompaniment to any kind of grilled, grilled white fish. So we'll put a decent quantity of that on. So with your fish as well, you could, you could leave that for a good quarter of an hour. It's not yeah, while you're cold. finishing off everything else. Or if you, if so you there's feel no the dramatic rush to get it on. There's the no dramatic it's rush. And if, and, and if things are going slightly slower than you thought, you can always put a, a piece of tin foil over the top. Mm. You know, and obviously, if it's a freezing winter night, you don't want to leave it outside. You know, in a, a yeah. warmish place. You know, but like there is perfect. Yeah. Um, so if, if you were behind time, you've got five minutes, you've forgotten something, just tin foil over the top. Yeah. It will rest very, very happily. Um, so um, that's a pretty good portion you got there. Yeah, it, it's, it's perfect <laughs> for one that. And then. Um, so all we do then is very carefully lift up Mr. Bream, put it on the top, maybe a drizzle, wow. drizzle, exactly. drizzle of olive oil, um, a smart one for this. It looks beautiful. There we go. A tiny squeeze of lemon. I think with fish, when, when fish is fresh, it doesn't need too much lemon. It's when it's sort of stinky that you need more and more lemon. So, but it's <laughs> nice to have a little bit of lemon, just to lift it a tiny bit. So there we are. Uh, let the salad, salad. salad. So all we do is um, take that, pour it over the top. Lovely. And, um, and we're go. done. I think even I could manage that. Yeah. Grilled dorada <laughs> with patatas alla pobre Ooh. and picos cheese walnut salad. Now, Matt, your sister has been slaving away in the hot kitchen all afternoon to yep. impress you, so I think it'd be rude not to go up and give it a go. OK, well, well maybe Eddie and Sam helps a little bit, but... Uh, Thanks so much. I could have taken my knife and as well. Right. Can you try this? Definitely. Better <laughs> first. Okay. Yeah, dive in. Don't be shy. Nice. So, do you remember everything? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not there sure it's going to look as good as that, though. So that was very inelegantly done. You've been practicing that filleting technique, haven't you? I was, and I sort of it rather dive in, Matt. <laughs> yeah, my filling. That looks really nice. Yeah, good. Good. I know you like your food. Mm. Mm. Superb. <laughs> That's from the crispy skin. I always think that mm. some people don't like fish skin. I think that the crispy outside skin mm. is one of the best bits. Good. It's a really That's good really fish. It's really nice. Taste fresh. It. You can, yeah, you can taste how fresh it is, can't you? Mm. Mm. Beautiful. So, is it, you're going to do this? Definitely going to try it. I swear. <laughs> I'm not sure it'll be presented as well as that, but I will definitely try it. To make Sam and Eddie's recipe, go to the fishmonger and ask for a whole sea bream. For the poor man's potatoes, you'll need to purchase onions, red peppers, green peppers, waxy potatoes, garlic, bay leaves, thyme, and flat leaf parsley. For the salad, buy chicory, blue cheese, walnuts, sherry vinegar, and lemon juice.